Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get started with Ohm's Law Notes. So first thing I want to talk about with Ohm's Law is the specific equation. And Ohm's Law is just a way to tell us the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance mathematically. So the equation for Ohm's Law is V equals I times R. Now let's talk about what V, I, and R stand for, even though we talked about these before, which is a quick little refresher. V is going to stand for voltage, and the units of voltage are volts, which are abbreviated by the letter V. I stands for current, and the units of current are amps, and amps can be abbreviated with a capital letter A. Next we have R, which stands for resistance, and the units of resistance are ohms, and ohms has the symbol of an omega. Over on the right hand side over here, you guys can see that I have my picture from before. This one's an old picture though, where again we show the resistance and we show the current and the voltage. And we can see that voltage is pushing this current through, but the resistance is stopping this current from moving. So the more resistance there is, or the tighter this string, the harder it is for this current to get through. And the harder the voltage pushes, the more the current is going to get through. And we're going to talk about this, like I said, mathematically on the next slide. So in which circuit does the light bulb have the greatest resistance? So over here, we have two circuits, diagram A and diagram B. Diagram A, we see that we have our light bulb in ammeter, because we remember that an A is an ammeter. That's the schematic symbol for it. And then we have a six volt battery down here. Right now we can actually see that we have four batteries. And then on the right hand side, we have the light bulb, the ammeter, which is measuring two amps of current through the circuit. And then again, the six volts of battery. So how are we gonna figure out which light bulb has the greatest resistance? So if we think about Ohm's law, we know that Ohm's law is V equals IR. This triangle over here is something you guys may have seen in math that just shows you how to manipulate one side or the other to solve for your missing variable. For instance, if I'm solving for V, I cover up V and I see that I is next to R, so V is equal to I times R. If I'm solving for R, I cover up R and I see that R is equal to V over I. Same thing for I, I cover up I and I is equal to V over R. Okay, I have put those over here as well to help you guys out. So again, if we are solving for resistance here, that means that in order for us to do that, we're gonna to need to know what the voltage and the current are. We already have those values in our circuit for diagram A. So if we list it below in the normal way that we know of Ohm's law, which is V equals I times R, we get six for V, one for I, and R for R. Go ahead and solve for R. We divide one over to the other side and we find out that the resistance for diagram A is six ohms. Let's do the same thing for diagram B. V is six, I is two, and R is still R. Now we solve for R, we divide two over and we get the resistance over here is three ohms. So summarizing our findings below, we can say that diagram A has the greatest resistance at six ohms. And again, we got that by using Ohm's law. Now let's start doing some word type questions here. So number two, which of the following will cause the current through an electrical circuit to decrease? So option A is that we decrease the voltage while resistance remains the same. Option B is that we decrease the resistance while voltage remains the same. Option C, increase the voltage while resistance remains the same. Or option D, increase the resistance while voltage remains the same. All right, guys, so I have my circuit set up over here. I have my battery, a few wires, a light bulb, and then some more wires completing the circuit because we said before that in order to have a circuit, it needs to be a complete loop. And these little red things, these little red arrows, show the current moving around my circuit and the speed at which that current moves. So if we think about this question, it says which of the following will cause the current through an electrical circuit to decrease? And we said decrease in the voltage while resistance remains the same. So if I click on my battery over here, I can decrease the voltage by clicking on this arrow and holding it. And let's see what happens. So as I click on this and hold it, I can see that these arrows are actually moving slower and slower and slower as that voltage 
decreases. So it looks like decreasing the voltage actually decreases the current. And the next one says decrease the resistance while voltage remains the same. So if I click on my light bulb, I can decrease this resistance by doing the same thing. And let's see what happens as I do that to my current, those little red arrows, are they slowing down or speeding up? Well, as I keep decreasing this resistance, we can see that these red arrows are moving faster and faster and faster. That would mean that decreasing the resistance increases the current as voltage remains the same. Let's take a look at letter C increase the voltage while resistance remains the same and now we want to increase the voltage let's see what happens as i increase this voltage here as i increase the voltage we notice that these red arrows are moving faster and faster and faster meaning that increasing the voltage will increase the current and now letter d we want to increase the resistance and keep voltage the same and notice what happens to current if i increase resistance i can see that my little current arrows are actually moving slower and slower and slower. So increasing the resistance is going to decrease the current. We can see that option A is our correct answer because decreasing the voltage and keeping resistance the same will actually cause the current through an electrical circuit to decrease. Another way we can get that current to decrease is by increasing the resistance and keeping voltage the same. Now let's take a look at number three. A certain electrical circuit contains a battery with three bulbs. Which of the following would cause the bulb to shine less brightly? And by less brightly, we just mean which would make the bulb dim. Choose all that apply, so there's more than one correct answer. Well, if we're thinking about how bright our bulb is, the brightness of a bulb is going to be related to the power. And over here, I included some equations for power. We have power equals V times I, V stands for voltage and I stands for current. So we know that it's going to be related to voltage and current. Increasing the voltage of the battery. Well, if we look over to the right at our equation, power is equal to voltage times current. So increasing the voltage is going to increase the power, which means that that would actually make our light bulb more bright. So if we increase the voltage, let's see what happens to our brightness. And I see as I increase that voltage, my light bulb is actually getting brighter and brighter and brighter. So letter A is not the answer decrease the voltage of the battery well as i decrease the voltage my light bulb gets dimmer and dimmer so that is the case decreasing the voltage is going to decrease the brightness of my light bulb making it more dim by decreasing the voltage we're actually going to decrease the power which means that our light bulb is going to become more dim or less bright so b is the correct answer now let's take a look at letter c and d for c we said decrease the resistance of the circuit what is going to happen to the brightness as I decrease this resistance? Well, decreasing the resistance is making my light bulb brighter. Therefore, this is not going to be the answer as well. So by decreasing the resistance, we're actually going to end up increasing the current. And if we increase the current, we can see that that's going to make power bigger. And the more power we have, the brighter our bulb. So C is not the right answer. But if we increase the resistance for letter D, that's going to end up slowing down that current. And if the current slows down, it's going to be smaller, meaning that power is going to be smaller, which means that our light bulb is going to be dimmer. Notice what happens as I increase the resistance now, my light bulb is getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. So therefore, increasing the resistance is going to decrease the brightness of my light bulb. Take a look at a few more practice problems with Ohm's law. And over here we have an electrical device with a resistance of three ohms will allow a current of four amps to flow through it if a voltage drop of blank volts is impressed across the device. So we know that V equals IR. In this case, I is four amps and R is three. So V is equal to four times three, which just means that the voltage should be 12 volts. Letter B. When a voltage of 120 volts is impressed across an electric heater, a current of 10 amps will flow through the heater if the resistance is blank. So again, Ohm's law tells us V equals IR. In this case, V is 120, I is 10, and R is unknown. So if we solve for R, we're gonna go ahead and divide 10 over to the other side, and we find out that resistance should be equal to 12 ohms. Letter C, a flashlight that is powered by three volts and use the bulb with a resistance of 60 ohms. We'll have a current of blank amps. 
again, V equals IR. In this case, V is three, I is unknown, and R is 60. If we solve for I, we divide 60 over the other side, we get three over 60. That tells us that I should be equal to 0 0.05 amps. Let's quickly recap what we talked about. The first thing that we said was that brightness of a light bulb is related to power, and that's super important. So the more power we have, the more bright our light bulb's going to be. And the specific equation that we looked at was this one, where it told us that power is equal to voltage times current. So in other words, the more voltage we have, or the more current we have, the brighter our light bulb is going to be. Also, we talked about Ohm's law, and this triangle shows us how to solve for each variable within Ohm's law. And we remember that Ohm's law is just V equals IR, but we can rearrange it to get the other equations over here, such as I equals V over R, or R equals V over I. 